Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Anywho, um, welcome to How to Startups Weekly Roundup. Now, as you may or may not know very, very well, I had the honor of being able to host both Anna Shimonovska from Fighter Shots, as well as Baron Kormaz from Arway. So I thought I might share a few lessons that I learned. Numero uno, Italian for number one. It is never too early. And what do I mean by that exactly? What I mean is that you can reach out to your mentors at 14 or 15 after having written an entire app by yourself, inspired by a horrendous tragedy like Grenfell, and also write a 10-page white paper. Or alternatively, you can create an incredibly tasty, immune system-boosting, ginger-based product, and rather than going through the gradual growth route of delis and farm shops, find a factory up in Port Glasgow and create 5,000 units at only three grand. Lesson two, mentoring. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are on your journey, you're never too young or too old to have a mentor. Baron's currently being mentored by CEO and CEO of Pointer, Axel and Ege, while Stana takes full advantage of a local network at the London Business School. But I do have conversations outside of my podcast. For instance, I was told on a phone call last week that it's incredibly important to have a mentor for each short-term milestone on your journey. So if you want to increase your company's overall revenue to 500,000, perhaps find a mentor who's done exactly the same. It would be a hell of a lot easier to emulate their habits than emulating the habits of a billionaire. Remember... They have to be relatable. Number three, investment. Seeking investment does not have to be a complicated game. Wherever you are on your journey, you just need to know when it's the right time to seek investment. Okay, yes, yes. How do we actually go about getting investment, Rowan? Right, okay, sorry. Anna took advantage of a local network and was able to be approached by an angel investor within the FMCG industry, being able to take advantage of his expertise and support. Second, Baron was able to create a list of 600 angel investors and automated the process of reaching out to them. He's now achieved 60% of a £300,000 round of seed investment. And conversations outside the podcast have suggested that you don't even have to have a POC or a product in place at all to seek investment in the first place. So how do you go about it? Well, you find comparable use cases of ventures that have seized investment at similar stages of their journeys as you. The bravest thing you ever do is actually taking the leap at all. Whether it be even starting the company or seeking investment, it's down to you. Don't listen to your self-doubt, just give it a go. Remember, tune back in for real-time advice.